check it. This is my Gaggia Classic espresso maker that I am replacing the steam wand on this morning so I can make my first cappuccino. <laughs> Which is going to be really bad. I know it's going to be really bad, but I'm still going to do it. Well, you got to start somewhere, right? So, I got my toolkit. It should be an easy process. Um, here's the replacement steam wand. You can see it's made out of metal. And this one used to have a plastic cover until I kind of broke it off. So, um, I didn't feel good about putting plastic in my milk. You know, like hot plastic in the milk. So I wanted to get... And I've heard like lots of better reviews about this one anyways. It just looks like a better quality one. So, and it's got this. Oh, maybe I'll zoom. I don't know. It, it just looks better, so. What else should we have for breakfast? Bacon. We're just, we're just gonna have bacon for breakfast. Bacon and coffee. It is cold. It is cold. It's like that cool, crisp chilliness it like Labor Day happened and then it's like everybody was like okay it's the end of summer it's fall now and the weather was like okay everybody thinks it's fall now so now we'll change like it instantly changed it's crazy boom there she is just did the month it took me like I don't know less than 10 minutes it's crazy that's the inside of my espresso machine and uh crazy I don't I don't know how it works but I know I did that and I think I did it right according to directions on my computer so now time for the cappuccino and Emily wants me to make it out of almond milk which I think is gonna be harder because you use whole milk usually when you make a cappuccino because the fattiness of the whole milk helps it get the microfoam I think, I don't know, I've read a lot about this stuff and it's all kind of jumbling together in my mind. Welcome back to Emily and Bennett's cooking show. <laughs> we are making cappuccinos. Or trying to, this is my first time. Emily apparently is a whiz. I used to work at a restaurant where I make cappuccinos. Yeah, but... He doesn't believe me. I believe you. He never you. has faith in me, be careful. Wait, so how many... Oh, I just made a double. Smells good. I'm just gonna do a double. So we'll, we'll put these underneath. Is it, are they gonna fit? No, no, they're not gonna fit. Just do that. Okay, okay. So grinding the beans. Over your ears. Actually using my hands, she's not actually doing it. <laughs> yeah, she's not they actually do doing that. The, um, the Boston. I'm from Boston, Don't grab my boobies like that. <laughs> you should watch this. This is gonna pour. Ooh, some. That's gonna come out. You have to get it out of the crease. I like it in the crease. No, I don't want it in the crease. All right, pour it in there. All right. Wait, right, let's do it in front of the camera. Look what we're doing. Ground coffee beans in the porta filter. Ooh. Is this your first time using your tamper? This is my first time using my brand new, my spanking, brand new tamper. Brand spanking new. Brand spanking new. It fits. It's perfectly. Whoa. Looks nice. It looks super nice. Look at that. Boom. It like fits right down in. It's yeah. you know. Look, no grounds. That's how wow. you know it's a good one. Okay, then it's me. <laughs> okay, it it's great, it's great. Put it on the top. Okay. We're going to pull the shot now. Insert here. Come get a bird's eye view. Oh. Okay. Okay. We're going.
need to get a better grinder. Alright. Espresso is made, now Emily's gonna steam the milk. It smells sour. Oh, yeah. We should get regular milk. Ugh. We're using almond milk, homemade almond milk. And like I said before in my other video, it's better if you use whole milk. Oh, well, we'll just drink cappuccinos. You mean espresso? Oh, God. You're messing up with espresso and cappuccino. We'll just drink the espresso, but soon to come, cappuccinos. I just put together my first program, which I'm super excited about. Um, so if you're interested in that, you can check it out. I'll put the link to it below. Um, it's basically a 31-day program. You sign up and you get an email every morning from me. So I'll send it at like 5 in the morning. So you'll um, get it and you'll be able to work with it and whatever, you know, whenever you have time in the day. We're leaving the library, Pedro and I. Yes. All my videos are with Pedro. He's my video buddy. And his ghost star. <laughs> ghost star. But look, it's fashion week right now at, uh, what is this? Lincoln Center, yeah. Fashion week at Lincoln Center. Cut. Take Whoa. two. Look at all the fashion. Ooh, Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's so fashionable. Pedro's looking out for the pretty girls. Oh, yeah. He's single, ladies. Pedro Barquinha is a single man. Wow. This is the Met. Oh, it's sick. I don't know what that is. The David H. Cox Theater. So I'm at this insane art center for this wedding that I'm playing at with a couple guys. Oh, it's ridiculous. They've got a renaissance choir, a 15-piece dance band, and we're the bluegrass band that's playing. So, wow. It's amazing in here. It's crazy. Jesus. You got my hat on? My Mumford, Mumford & Sons hat? That's what she specified she wanted for the gig, so she brought some hats for us. I actually like it, though. It looks nice. I think. I'm walking around the Lower East Side, killing time, just walking around the block before this gig. My phone's about to die. Um, yeah. Just trying to kill some time. Ew. Yuck. Um, so I don't have the light on here that turns the fan on, but... I was just getting ready in here. I'm headed to Laura's housewarming party. Yay! And I looked in the shower to check on the mouse. And it's gone. It's like it was just laying there just a few seconds ago. Not seconds. Like a few minutes ago. And now it's not there. So it crawled down the drain. I don't know what happened. Something happened. Ugh. I just wish this these mice would go away. All I want. And now I'm gonna go to Laura's house. I think it's like cold outside. I need to check the weather, but yeah, we're gonna go to our housewarming party. Hey. Okay.